What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another What's Streaming Wednesday. It is Vince, and happy Thanksgiving Eve, one of the biggest drinking days of the year. If you're going to do it, though, make sure you do it responsibly. And if you're going to do it at home, we have some friends with us from The Traveling Tap, Tim and Amber Weaver, owners of The Traveling Tap, who uh, have some cocktail recipes that you can use tonight for your maybe in-home, socially distant Thanksgiving Eve. How are you guys doing today? Good, Good. Vince. How are you? Good, good. So give us some of the holiday drink recipes people can use from now through New Year's Eve. Well, we actually have some uh, some of the warmer drinks that's that are uh, coming up. Uh, we have the uh, peppermint hot chocolate, which is the easiest actually to do. Uh, we basically have um, it's literally five ounces of Godiva hot chocolate, two ounces of Bailey's and uh, you can either use our mint syrup, which is great, or if you, you can just put two drops of your mint extract because everybody's cook, getting ready for cookies and things like that uh, into the into that and stir it up. And it's a nice hot um, beverage for for Thanksgiving and for for the Christmas uh, season. I, I could drink a hot chocolate like that from basically the time it gets cold until like early springtime. I think I would be all right with something like that. What else do you guys have? Uh, we have basically a salted caramel martini. Uh, it's again, uh, Godiva chocolate syrup. Uh, you would put one ounce of Godiva chocolate syrup in. You'd have uh, one ounce of Van Gogh uh, caramel vodka, two ounces of Bailey's. You take a little salt for the rim. Uh, you can use uh, cream de cocoa will, will be a little cheaper, uh, which will actually make it a little better uh, for price point and two and a half ounces of half and half. Uh, you shake it up, you pour it into the martini glass, and you can get the, the syrups and things with, from us or from you know various places around and coat the glass with caramel or chocolate and pour it in. It's, it's one of those, like you said, it can be done around Christmas time or all throughout the year. And you were mentioning that you guys do your own syrups and mixers, right? Yes. And yeah, what kind of different what kind of different flavors are you getting ready to debut for the holiday season? Actually, we have uh, two right now. We ha we have a, uh, a pomegranate uh, mint, which is really good, uh, and uh, all of our stuff is is handmade and it's made fresh with real ingredients. We don't put any uh, artificial artificial stuff, stuff in it. Um, and we also have our Guinness syrup, which is really popular. You can put okay. it in coffee. Yeah, you can put it in coffee. You can put it in hot chocolate. You can put it in tea. Uh, and, and I put it on my pancakes. It, that's what I was just going to say. Ice there, cream. Yeah, there we pancakes. go. And, and yeah, and uh, if you you can even use it in cooking to toss like uh, uh, chicken nuggets in. It's oh, really wow. good. That sounds um, delicious. But yeah, we we make we make it from Guinness, but it is non-alcoholic. So uh, okay. it's it's yeah, you, it's on our website going up uh, most likely. Uh, the following Monday and you'll be able to pick that up and we'll even ship it to you. And Tim said, you can go to their website. All of that information about the traveling tap is conveniently scrolling across the bottom of the screen down there, their Facebook, their Instagram and their website. So you can visit them there. Any other drink recipes before we move on to a little bit more about you guys? Uh, no, no, we'll, we'll, if somebody has a question, they can always email me at Tim at tradetap.com and I can send them a, a recipe that that, uh, for a larger a larger group or something smaller uh, for, you know, just an intimate family thing. So very cool. So looking past the holiday season, what are some trends that you guys are starting to see for signature cocktails in 2021? We have uh, some of the trends that we're seeing is with the bourbons that are that are out, uh, they're actually on the decline. Uh, everybody knows what they're with their bourbon, the, the bourbons that they like. And they're, they're going less of the bourbon, the, the trying to do an old fashioned bar, which is beautiful, but it does take time at the weddings and, and such. Um, that's, that seems to be on the out. Uh, more of the, the things that I'm seeing is uh, a lot of seltzers coming out where, again, we're gonna, we're gonna be issuing some of those as well, uh, handmade seltzers that we can have at the weddings, uh, mixing with different common, um, uh, liquors and things like that. Uh, that's some of the stuff that, that, that is the trend is going to, 
Uh, Kambuka is still sitting on that outside edge. It doesn't quite know if it wants to come in or go out yet. Um, but those are, those are some of the things that we're seeing. The signature cocktail stations that we do, uh, that's becoming a huge thing. So people don't have to actually line the bar for 12 miles just to yeah, get there's just already drinks ready to go there yeah, no bartenders are just i do like i do like when i go to a wedding and they do have a signature cocktail and it's just like i'll have that give me that that's the easiest thing you can do it's it's great because we actually have a, a signature cocktail station that's manned that's it's already made and we're actually just handing it out to so people have a drink in hand within 30 seconds after walking through the door so, so it, yeah Moving away from drink trends, what is what are some new things that you guys are introducing in the next come in the next year? We have uh, we are actually in the process of building them right now as our brand new bars, which with uh, COVID in mind, we are going to have rinsing stations built into the bar. Uh, <laughs> we have the back bar stations as well. Uh, it's, it's a whole complete bar setup as opposed to a table. When you go to some of these weddings that you walk in, it's a table and the glass is just sitting there. Um, we have, um, yeah, the, the bars are going to be the big thing. And when you see them, they're going to mirror what we already have for our coffee bar. So if you go onto our, our site, you can see what the coffee bar looks oh, like. Uh, they are, uh, trans, uh, transformable. We can put wood fronts on them. We can use the, the steel. We can, um, do uh, lighting to, to match the bride's colors, uh, put glaze, you know, happy with the couple's name and the date. So there's there's a lot we can do with those bars. Uh, they're all customizable. And what are you guys, how, how have things changed in terms of, you know, coronavirus? How has that changed what you guys do when you go out to different wedding venues or different venues per se? Well, we've seen, we've seen a lot with the, um, I mean, the hand sanitizing stations and things like that uh, is is great. People don't realize that the bartending company is actually the one who is the most in contact with the guests. Uh, we're the ones touching the glasses, touching, you know, meeting the guests all the time. Over uh, and over again. So what we want to do is try to eliminate all of that and puts we have we have the, the areas where you set your glassware and we give you a fresh glass every time. Uh, and we also have the, the rinsing stations. We have the sanitizer. Going forward, we're probably gonna keep the sanitizer for quite a bit. Uh, it was We didn't have to do much of a, a change other than face masks and sanitizer because we already did this in the first place, um, well before COVID. So you guys were already a top-notch organization before that. What is something that makes you guys stand out from other bar attending companies? Because I know there are a lot of them around Central PA, but what makes Traveling Tap to go to? Uh, we're a full service bartending company. Uh, we don't just send you a bartender with a bottle opener and that's it. We provide all your mixers, your garnishes, your glassware, uh, customizable bar menus. Uh, we're working on um, customized stirs and cocktail napkins to be able to provide that as an extra bonus for our couples for okay. their wedding. That is, that is very custom stirs. That is like, that's about as bougie as you can get. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you guys always are dealing with wedding couples. I'm sure you've seen a lot of bridezillas before. What are just some challenges that you guys face when you go to like different different wedding venues or dealing with different couples? I think our biggest challenge is most of these venues around Lancaster are BYOB, or I should say BYOE, bring your own everything. The bride and groom have got to coordinate everything from the caterer to the rentals, to decorations, to the bar. And while the bar for every bride is the most important uh, or bride and groom is the most important. They always wait till the end to start planning the bar. So that is kind of on the end of their, they've already spent their budget on the caterer and the venue, the dress, everything else. And then um, it's, oh, we got to plan the bar. This is the most important thing, but we don't have the budget for it. 
Um, so that's where our thing is, is trying to make, to do our best to help the bride and groom get exactly what they want for their uh, bar, but also keeping it within their budget. Very cool. And you guys are available for private events as well, right? Yes. So we do a lot of corporate. Yeah. Um, we do some home backyard um, events as well. And I know we've, from a different aspect, we've worked with you guys before for our Brew Cannon Fest sad face emoji that we weren't able yeah. to have a Brew Cannon Fest this year. Hopefully in 2021, we can get back to it. Tim, Amber, owners of the Traveling Tap, thank you for joining us today. Again, if you have any cocktail questions, need some recipes for your holiday gatherings, you can email them. All of their information is scrolling across the bottom. You can visit them at www.tratap.com, T-R-A-T-A-P.com. Guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks, thanks for having us. us.